What is that? What is that you guys? And so Today I'm gonna be doing something I've not done in a very long time, which is a mask painting. A lot of people might not know this, but I do know how to paint masks. And today we are painting this paintball mask and turning it into a mask for DJing vocal stuff and just an in general thing. Maybe even turn it into a cosplay mask. So we're going to see what happens here. No, I'm not muted. So y'all can sit on it and rotate. So we're going to get it in here and have some fun. Ah, I love these trolls. These trolls are so funny. You, you think you're really going to get me off here, but uh, you're not going to. Now, let's get started here. For this one, I think I might end up using... I think I'm going to go with a white around the edges here. I think I might go white. What do y'all think? Y'all think I should go white around the bottom edge there? What do y'all think? Y'all think I should go white down here? Or do the whole thing white? I dig out my white acrylic here. Where the fuck is that? Gotta dig that bitch out. I may need that. Oh, there's white right there. Let that soak for a minute. Sorry, I was literally multitasking here. Oh, 
get you something done or if I need the coffee. No, but it's popped already. We're good. Sweet. Yo, q -ball, what up, dude? Yo, q -ball, question. Are you the same dude that I just DM'd on Facebook, bro? Is that you? Yo, q -ball, I'll mod you up, man, because I know you. You're a good dude. Um, I'll mod you up. That way you can help get rid of the trolls, homie. So, you see any troll shit, man, you know what to do, bro. They got to go. Goblin Slayer, what's up? I'll turn up the mask a bit. And yes, I'm running clear water over the mask to kind of clean off any dust that's in here. Because a lot of people don't know, I actually have a history in artwork. And one of the things that I learned doing graffiti and artwork and all that shit is you always want to clean your surface. Make sure there's no dust or anything. Do a quick air dry down here on the fan. All right, we're good there. Now, let's get to work, dude. And yo, cue ball. Um, if you want to ban some of these people, by all means, please do. Because these guys are annoying as fuck, man.
that's that side there. Yo, Todd, are you talking to me? Alright, whatever, Todd. See you later, dude. Don't want to be here, that's fine. See you later, dude. Have fun on the bitch side. The reason why I'm doing it in all white is because I'm going to be adding... This is literally just the base coat right here. This is literally just the base coat. I would use spray paint, but I don't have any spray paint on hand, so I'm having to do the next best thing, which is quick dry acrylic paint. That's the layers of white. What I'm doing is I'm making the white the base coat. I'm basically turning this whole front thing white, and then I'm going to go in and do a design on it. Yo, T-Wall, get rid of these trolls, dude. Because I don't want trolls up in my shit.
Yo, Daily Struggle, what up, brother? Yo, Struggle, I'll put you as my brother. Yo, Zaya, how you doing, big dog? What's up? Welcome to the stream, homie. How you doing, Zaya? What's good, bro? How you doing, Zay? What's going on, bro? Figured I'd pop in and do an art stream where I work on a mask and go back to my roots doing graffiti type shit. You know, going and go back to my roots doing that apocalyptic graffiti esque crazy type of artwork on a mask. Figure since I ain't done this in God knows how long, I figure why not pop back in and do it, man. But yo, Zaya, I heard about the swatting, bro. I hope you and I hope you and Pebs are right, dog. I hope y'all are doing alright, man. Cause that shit was fucked what they did you, bro. Y'all didn't deserve that shit, dog. Y'all didn't deserve to be swatted like that, bro. Y'all are good people, man. You don't deserve that shit. Y'all have been nothing but gracious to me, to my family, and my peoples. So, man, y'all don't deserve to be swatted like that, bro. That, that was some bullshit, dude. I'm just glad to see that you and Pebs are all right, man. But uh, to everybody in chat, man, what have you guys been up to, man? Y'all doing good? Man, I'm gonna have to put a lot of layers. 
shines a light on this shit, dog. But so far, it's looking good. Yo, Chino, what up? Yo, Chino, I'm gonna put you as mod, big bro. I got you, dog. Hey, Chino, maybe you can help out, brother. By the way, Chino, how you doing, brother? What's good, bro? It's going to take multiple, multiple layers to... To get this shit down. Hell yeah. Hey, yo, Chino, you want to help get rid of these trolls, dude? You, you've seen this shit, brother. You already know what to look for, dog. I say it's time to clap these fools. Cause I'm here for people like you, Chino, dudes that actually support my shit. This is the reason why I'm glad I took art class in school, dog. And that includes you, Chino. Any troll shit that you see, anything that you know is a troll, or them attacking me, brother, bounce them. Basically the same as yours, man. If they're coming in starting shit, they gotta go. Basically the same thing as yours, bro. They come in starting shit, they gone. If they're here just hanging out, doing whatever, they cool. Like if they're coming in calling me a pedophile and this and that and the other or whatever... Then yeah, bro, they gotta go. Basically, same thing as yours, homie. <laughs> bouncy, bouncy, Tom, let's get high. <laughs> Say, you crazy, dog. You're just as crazy as me, man. But hey, that's why I'm good friends with you, bro, because you're just as crazy as I am, dude. You like me, dog. You got that crazy in you, bro. Start calling your ass Psycho Zaya. Because <laughs> like me, man, you got that crazy in you, bro. But yeah, a lot of people don't know, but I actually took art classes back in high school, man. That's why I know what I'm doing with this shit. Plus, I have a few friends that are graffiti artists themselves.
Yeah, believe it or not, man, I grew up doing artwork since I was a kid, man. I've been doing, I'm, dude, I've been doing artwork since I could fucking hold a crayon, bro. So for me, artwork basically runs in my blood. Because my great grandmother uh, wrote and self published the book, uh, did all the artwork in it, and then the art genes just kind of got passed down through the family, and I ended up with it. So, yeah. Been doing artwork as long as I can remember, dude. You know how I keep brushing over that and fading that out, I don't know. There we go. No, I found something. Alright, now just to get this back plastic piece right here. Ah, Alpha Mask. Bouncy, bouncy, motherfucker. Yeah. Alright. Hang on, y'all. Give me just one second. I'm gonna go grab dinner and let that shit cool off. Yo, Luna, what up? Give me just a sec, y'all. I'll be right back. But so far, this match turns out, it's turned out pretty fucking fire.
some guy with some back there that y'all had to drink dinner. That's the only way to get cool off because it's super fucking hot right now. But we gotta jump right back into it. No, I literally had to go down and grab dinner, dude. Hey, it's death to MDM. You stick around long enough, man. You just might. Council of Eight are bad dudes. Get rid of them. No attack, you're not banned, dude. No, I just had to run down and grab some. I had to run down and grab some dinner real quick, which I got sitting outside my door so I can cool off. Almost got this thing fully painted out with the base coat, and then after that, then the details begin. Ha ha ha. So all my supporters, man, like what kind of like what kind of design do you think I should do? Should I go for like a rustic post apocalyptic vibe? Uh slipknot kind of vibe with like the crazy clown shit or like uh, should I do like a monster design? Like a monster face design? Like what do y'all think I should do? Because bear in mind, I am going to use this for my music and shit, so I definitely want it to be something crazy and something fun. Because I want it to be something that not only will I enjoy, that you guys will enjoy as well. So if y'all got any ideas on what kind of design I should do on this, put it in the comments and let me know. And hey, Luna is right, man. There are a lot of trolls. So, the mods are doing their jobs. It's just there's a lot of fucking trolls. Get that dusty look. 
the dusty white look. And we are almost done with the base coat, y'all. We are almost done with the base coat. And once this base coat's fully dried, then it's on to the details. I get the outline of the goggles and we're good. Hey, yo, Luna. Since you've definitely been showing an interest over the last few days. There you go. You are now a mod because you've earned it. You stuck around a long ass time, Luna. Like, you've been here for, like, what, at least two, three months? So you've definitely earned your spot. And Death Music Biz Marty, take it from Luna, man. You gotta earn your spot as well, bro. She's been here definitely a little bit longer than you have, but she has shown that she wants to get rid of these guys. And don't worry, Death Music Biz Marty, you'll earn your spot. Don't worry, man. Stick around for a few months and we'll see what happens, man. Is that acrylic? Yes, it is. As you can tell, I got it all over me. Oh, no. I, I kind of missed this spot there. That's fine. Sierra, I don't even know who you are. So why would I be scared of you? No offense, but do I know you? No. So why would I be scared of you? And yo, Zay, I'm glad to see that you and Bez are doing good, bro. Especially after what Marty did with that SWAT calling dog. I'm sorry y'all had to go through that, homie. But I'm just glad that you and Pebs are safe, dog. Alrighty, now just sit here and let this dry for a few minutes. And catch up to y'all in chat. Hey, Fallout's my shit, dude. I fuck with Fallout, bro. This is actually a paintball mask that I'm turning into a DJ mask. Yo, Dandy, what up, brother? How 
How you doing, Danny? What's good, bro? Yeah. And, dude, I found out that that dude that did that to you, bro, I found out he's the same motherfucker that swatted Aaron Carter, man. And that's fucked, man. Because I grew up listening to Aaron Carter and his brother's band, the Backstreet Boys. Dude, I grew up around those guys. So when I heard that shit happen, dude, I was fucking pissed. Massive R.I.P. to AC, though, man, for real. Massive R.I.P. to Aaron Carter. Man, how can you not see this, dude? It's right there. Okay. Yeah. And I don't blame you, dude. Like, Danville's a fucking weirdo, dude, bro. For real. Goodbye, Uncle Jimbo. I can't stand that creep. I don't know, man. I'm not sure if I want to go for a steampunk fallout aesthetic. Or just like a crazy rustic... You know, evil face kind of design. I don't know. I'm thinking I might go with like a gas mask kind of vibe. You know, have like the rustic, chipped off, rusty paint kind of vibe. Because me, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Fallout. I'm also a huge fan of weird shit, so... Well, they do have some sort of steampunk aesthetic, though. Like, if you really look at Fallout, they do have a steampunk aesthetic to them. Not, not in, like, the character designs, but the level designs. Some of them have that steampunkish kind of vibe to them. Especially in 76, man. In Fallout 76, there's a massive design up in there. Yo, Mad Max is my shit, bro. I fuck with Mad Max. And yes, I'm glad to see the new Mad Max movie, for sure. Yeah, Ronnie Mon, what up, dude? Do a ghoul? Ooh, that'd be interesting. Well, you know what? I hate to say it, Sierra, but the way I see it, if you're a troll, I, l I lump all trolls with Marty, dude. Because Marty's a troll, you were a troll, so it is what it is. Like, it's no offense to you, but if you're a troll, I'm going to consider you a Marty troll. Because that's where a lot of my trolls come from, are from Marty. No, these are paintbrushes, dude. Say, paintbrush. Alright, so now that it's dried off, let me check all around here. Oh yeah, dude, that's dry. That is dry.
do some detail work on the mask. I know I'm I'm looking at it trying to figure out where I want to start. Like that's the thing. I need to figure out where it is that I want to essentially start. I'm like sitting here looking at this trying to figure out like where it is that I want to start the details at. I'm definitely going to do this right here all brown. The front part, that's going to be an all brown detail. Just trying to figure out what else I want to do with it. No, 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 no. That's literally just the screen, dude. That's literally just the thing. To... That way it's not a boring... You know, that way it's not some sort of boring ass fucking black screen. Y'all have something dope to look at as well. Okay, now let's do this. So I've got the outline here. Let's put these up and then we'll grab the fine detail one down in the bottom here. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That'll that'll get those lines perfectly, okay. Let's get rid of the white acrylic. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna need, for this one, I'm gonna need crimson red, not titanium white. Yellow I'm going to need, and I'm going to need my brown, wherever that went. Wait, which one is this? Crimson, Scarlet, no, I need Crimson. Yo, what do y'all think? Y'all think I should throw a little bit of gold on that shit? What do y'all think? Y'all think I should throw some gold on that shit? Alright, I'll save that for fine detailing. And then... Ah, there's the brown that I need. Or is this brown? Yeah, burnt sienna. This is what I need. All right, so I got my three colors. Let me pop these if they're not already popped. I'm pretty sure they are, yep. Sorry, y'all, I gotta check all three of my colors, make sure they're popped open. Oh yeah, that's definitely popped open, holy shit. One thing I always do is I always check to make sure that my colors are popped. Because you don't know how frustrating it is when you go to paint with a certain color and your fucking shit ain't open and you're like, why is there no, why is there no paint coming out? And you gotta fucking reopen the thing and pop it open because you completely forgot to fucking bust the seal on it. I can't tell you how many times I've done that, dude. That shit sucks. And if you guys are wondering, this actually got sent to me by a fan. This scroll, uh, this scroll with the paintbrush in it, that got sent to me by a fan like two and a half years ago. And I have been around, yo, to Musty Squatch, I've been around YouTube since 2009, dude. That's when I first started.
but I didn't post my first video until 2010. I see what's going on here. Hold on. Come on, don't do this to me. Is this Dr. Thunder? Ah, uh, okay. I will set that right there. That's why I wasn't coming out, man. It had that dried up shit around the edge. Well, this is funny. I love that. Dude, it's like you don't want to come out. What the hell? But uh, what's everybody in chat been up to today, man? Oh, that one came out easier than the Crimson one did. Ah, Jason. By the way, to my mods, if you guys see Jason's or any troll that you guys recognize, automatic ban. You ain't even got to say shit, just auto ban. They are bounce on site, or, or as I like to say, KOS, kill on site. Yo, K Hole Karen, how you doing? How bad was he? Actually, a lot better than you think, dude. Because within the next few days, your boy's gonna, you're gonna see your boy rocking this shit. Dogfish, what up? Let me 
get the base ground set up first, dog. Yeesh. Yo, this is turning out crazy, dude. Like, look at that, man. That is turning out sick. It's got that fucking rustic shit going on there, man. It looks good. It's got that rusty, fucked up kind of vibe going on, dude. That is sick. This is literally a rust brown color, dude. Like, that is literally the color of rust. See, this is exactly why I chose to do white and then this. Because you see how it's got that fading kind of look, man? Y'all can't tell me that don't look sick, man. It's got that fade kind of look to it. To where it looks like it's old and janked out and fucking rusty and it's falling apart. Yes, I have, dude. I actually have a bunch of uh, graffiti characters on paper that I've done over the years. So, yes, I have dabbled in graffiti. Graffiti is actually one of my favorite styles of artwork to do. Fun fact. I love doing graffiti art, man. I've been doing graffiti art for as long as I can remember, dude. Yes, I have. I haven't played paintball or airsoft in a long time, but yes, I have. Ah, shit.
I can do some graffiti artwork on stream, dude. That's not a problem. Reason why I'm why I like having my fan. Not only does it keep me cool, but I can dry off paintbrushes super quick and super easy with it. I'm gonna bust my white back out here because I need to fill out of spots that I kind of chipped off. I still got a little bit of white left. Hold on. I didn't realize I still got a little bit of white left from the base coat. brush here because that one is starting to run dry dude why is he doing this I got her filled in. We're good. Yo, speaking of Borderlands, man, what's some of y'all's favorite Borderlands games? Like, which one's y'all's favorites for Borderlands? Yo, Tiny Tina's Wonderland is the shit, bro. I fucking love Tiny Tina's Wonderland, man. That shit's fucking awesome. Yo, Borderlands 2 is good. I fuck with me. I love. I fuck with Borderlands 2. But for me personally, Tiny Tina, Tiny Tina's Wonderland, fucking amazing, bro. Hands down, fucking dope ass game. And yes, I'm a fan of Claptrap. Anybody that don't like Claptrap, fuck you. <laughs> Tiny Tina's Wonderland takes place within the Borderlands franchise. 
Like, it takes place within that very realm, just in a different thing. Same aesthetic, different universe kind of thing. Imagine Call of Duty meets Borderlands, and that's basically what Tiny Tina's Wonderland is. Like, imagine Call of Duty meets Borderlands, and that's basically what it is. Alright, so far this rusted crazy mofo is looking good, dude. So far this is looking sick. Yo. By the way, how many of y'all still play D&D? &D? Cause I can honestly say I definitely still play D and D. I haven't played in a long time, but I do still play once in a great while. Almost got the front of the face mask done, y'all. It is almost done and looking good. Oh, also, I did forget to tell you guys, if you guys do want to donate, here in the next couple of days, in the next couple of weeks, you guys will be able to. I set up a brand new cash app and everything. 
So you guys will be able to donate if you guys want to. I have a new Cash App card in the mail on its way. And I got a new, ca uh, new Cash App set up. So if any supporters want to donate, you guys will be able to in the next few weeks. I shall wait for the card to get here in the mail. And once it's done, we are set. The old one fucking trolls broke into it and decided to try to intercept everything. Which is why I wasn't getting paid the money y'all were sending. They broke in, stole my information, and linked it to their shit. Here we go. Actually, I'm not even monetized yet, dude. What happened to the merch shop? Uh, now, first off, what do you guys think so far? Got that rustic vibe going on. I told y'all, man, don't give me a paintbrush and artwork, man. I'll do some crazy shit. I will go ham on some fucking artwork on this shit, man, for real. Because see, what I did was I layered in the white. That way the brown would be easier to see. You see what I'm saying? Once I have this thing fully painted brown, then the, like, the intricate details, like the paint, uh, the paint design, the details are going to be added in. By the way, shout out to NerdForge for the idea, man. If y'all have not watched Nerd, uh, Nerdforge, bro, go watch her shit. She's fucking awesome. I've been watching Nerdforge for about four or five, maybe six years now. And watching her stuff is what inspired me to want to do this. So shout out to Nerdforge. Fucking love your content. Or I may just even, I don't even know if I'm going to use this for a DJ mask or if I'm just going to put this up on display as like an aesthetic piece for my setup. I don't know yet. So sick right now.
That is true. Paintball paint is very different from acrylic. Acrylic actually sticks to shit. Paintball stuff, that washes off super easily. Only reason I don't get back into paintballing is because that shit's expensive, bro. Like, no joke, that shit is hella expensive to get into. And I ain't got money like that, so me doing paintball and airsoft shit, yeah, I don't see that happening anytime soon. I mean, I would like to eventually, but yeah. That definitely ain't happening anytime soon. Almost done with the base coat for the rust brown, and then from there, details are going to be added in, ladies and gents. Over the bottom one last time. Hmm. All right, I now have the base coat for the brown finished off. I just let this dry for a sec. Check the comments. Have you gone swimming in the lake yet? No, I have not because in swimming is not allowed in this lake down here because it is polluted. So, yeah, me swimming in the lake? Yeah, no. <laughs> Not ever happening anytime soon, sorry. All right, now let's see.
got the first strike done. Look at that, man. That is wicked, bro. That looks wicked, dude. Man, seriously, look at that shit, man. That looks fucking minion, dude. Got that fucking God of War look going on. I got both of the strikes painted on both sides. Next, I'm probably going to do white. Another layer of white. I know it sounds weird, but... You'll see what I'm getting at. Kind of give it that rusty vibe. Know what I was trying to do, and now I have to paint over it, which is fine. Fix that mistake. Since I did light on one side, I may as well. Oh, damn it. Oh, hang on. Good thing I got these. Fucking Clorox wipes. Love those things. Now I'm definitely going to do some stitches going through for sure. 
But that is something I am going to do or some stitches running through the thing. Do like this, see what it looks like. Yo, that is fucking creepy, dude. That looks sick. Yo, that looks fire. That looks good. I right, take it easy, musty. Oh, this one I have to unscrew. Do it that way. Shit, go get you a paintball mask and go for it. Or hell, even grab a face mask or whatever it is you want to do. That's looking good, dude. Now I'm just going straight fucking Titanfall with this shit, dude. There we go, got that Titanfall look going on.
You know, fuck it, I'm gonna go all red. Fuck it. Because I just got a fucking brilliant ass fucking idea here. Dude, why does red look so good on this shit? Like, for real, why does red look so fucking good on this mask? I see, so look at how fucking good that looks. I guess adding that rust vibe to it actually worked because it just darkened up the red. And god damn does this red look good, dude. By the way, to everybody that does support me, man, I want to say thank you guys, man, for real. Because y'all supporting me does mean a lot, man. Like, I'm not even joking when I say that. Y'all supporting me and allowing me to get a second chance to do better for myself, like, y'all don't know how much that means to me and my family, dude. To me, my family, my friends, like, y'all allowing me to get a second shot to show that I'm not an evil person. Like, I can honestly say, y'all genuinely don't know how much that actually means to me, man. I'll just to let this sit and chill for a hot second. All right, I got it painted red. I just got to get some of the rusty spots filled out. And there we go. Oh, hold on. I'm missing a spot somewhere. Where the fuck is that? Wait, what spot is that? The pad. Yeah, I see it right there. Okay. Alright, there we go.
Now I'm just gonna let the red dry and I will be doing some crazy paint designs on it here in just a bit. See what I did was I did the white, then the rust, and then this to kind of give it that It's kind of giving it that that darker red kind of vibe. Hop on the screens. What am I gonna do? Eh, it's all good. That'll wash out later on. Don't worry. Yo, Daily Struggle. How the hell did you did you get unmodded? Uh, you're not even the real daily struggle, dude. Get out of here. Get out of here. Hit the bricks. Alright, y'all. So, for now, I'm going to end it right here. I'm going to put myself up. I'm going to eat dinner real quick. And I'm going to start up another stream later on after I'm done. And we will be adding in the details. So, this will be done here in just a little bit, man. So, I love you guys. If y'all did enjoy this stream, hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell all found down below. And I'll catch you guys later on, man. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.